through their agents, Australian boomer players Chris Goulding and Nathan Sobey have expressed their disappointment over the sanctions and penalties imposed by the International Basketball Federation, FIBA, on the players and coaches of Gila's Pilipinas with regards to the free-for-all brawl that happened last July 2 at the Philippine Arena. Gila's had 10 players receive suspensions. J. Aguilar and Matthew Wright each received a one-game suspension. Troy Rosario, Terence Romeo, Jason Castro William, and Andre Blatch each received a three-game suspension. Roger Pogoy, Carl Cruz, and Gio Jalalan each received a five-game suspension. While Calvin Abueva received a six-game suspension. For his part in the brawl, assistant coach John Uchiko received a three-game ban, while head coach Chot Reyes was handed a one-game ban and a fine of Swiss francs 10,000, PHP 534,773. 27. Goulding, who was ganged up on by multiple players and coach John Uchiko, called the three-game ban Uchiko was slapped with was farcical. The most disturbing aspect of FIBA's ruling is the fact that assistant coach Joseph Uchiko, who in my opinion, is guilty of attempting to cause grievous bodily harm that could have easily resulted in the death of Chris Goulding has been given a farcical three-game suspension, Goulding's agent Daniel Moldovan said in a statement. What message is FIBA sending to children all over the world when a violent and nonsensical act such as this is given nothing but more than a slap on the wrist? Coach Uchiko should never be allowed to coach a FIBA sanctioned game ever again. Dot on the other hand, Sobi, who was clocked by off duty heel as player Gio Jalalon, is seeking damages for the brawl. The fact that a suspension was not handed down to the individual who threw a chair at Nathan is of great concern, Sobi's agency Mogul Sports Group said in a statement. International athletes deserve to feel safe when representing their country and we believe a duty of care to all the athletes is owed in this regard, and such duty was breached with the inadequate security. The lack of security was the reason cited by Thon Maker on why he was involved in the melee. I tried to break up a conflict, but without security, things quickly devolved into a very dangerous situation where I needed to act to protect my teammates and myself from imminent harm, said Maker, who was dealt a three-game suspension. The legal counsel of both players are considering all options in the interest of player welfare. Basketball Australia is giving careful consideration about the appeal process for these sanctions. Deadline for the appeals is set on August 2. Goulding was slapped with a one-game suspension, while Sobey had none.